So welcome back guys to the tutorial about how to live stream using flash media encoder and a video device such as webcam max or super webcam. So uh, let's open the profile I saved with the live stream settings I told you about. I put the name live stream here. Now take a little bit. And it has the same same settings I told you, 60 FPS, the same size. 300 kilobytes per second, the same thing with the audio, and of course the same code I told you, but with the actual password this time, of course I'm not going to show it. So let's begin. You put start. That's all what you need to do. I'm going to be a little bit slow, and if you, you go to the actual stream, you will see it's live now. I'm using, of course, the My Chilling Retro Gamer channel on my webpage. See? It is working right now. So now I'm going to stop it. And nothing is going on. See? So it's pretty simple. Okay, in the case of Justin.tv, you have to download the XML file. If you go to Justin.tv slash broadcast slash advanced, link will be in the description, you will be able to download the XML file depending on the version of Flash Media Encoder you have. I'm using 3.0. See, you can download it, you can modify the name of it if you want to. So, what you have to do, well, unfortunately, I cannot open profile anymore. But basically, you have to open the profile to then to select the one you just downloaded. I modify the same settings with the exact same settings. Forget about the code this time. This code is only for live stream. In the case of Justin.tv, that code it will be provided by the file you download. See the XML. So you uh, open the profile, you uh, select the XML uh, file that you download from here. You put the same settings. It doesn't change much to be honest. 60 FPS, same bit rate, and also the quality of the sound. I think it's a bit worse than live stream in terms of quality, but it's not so much of a difference. So you basically open that and then you put start and you will be able to see your Justin.tv uh, stream as well. It works in the same way. In the case of Ustream, you have to do something else, some other procedure, but I'm not going to explain that. I think it's enough for, for now explaining live stream and Justin.tv, which are my favorites uh, for now. So basically I'm doing this tutorial, or I did this tutorial, for you to try this out yourself. Of course, I if some of you ha actually have no audience, have no subscribers, or are not so much popular uh, as some other people, including myself. Uh, well, I mean, so I'm not so popular, but at least I have a few subscribers who are watch actually watching this at the moment. So if you're interested, if you actually think you have a very good computer, a better computer than the, ha than the one I have, or a better connection than the one I have, try this out with a game, uh, with your friends or whatever, and let me know, and we can actually can work together eventually. Why not? Especially the ones who already worked with me, such as Newfie Banga, uh, Zero, Star Sims Universe. If you're watching this and you are interested to work with me again, uh, of course, with this uh, website uh, element, which is a lot more convenient, just let me know with this new method, or, or not that new, but at least it's different from using the actual broadcasters from the pages which are a little bit of a pain in the ass if you ask me this is more practical you can uh, uh, set this up in the way you want with your own settings with your own speed and uh, not by the one that the web page provides you by default that you can actually not modify so you can modify this in the way you want uh, so yeah if you have questions let me know i will respond every single of your questions because i'm really interested uh, I'm really into uh, streaming in general, so uh, if you want to learn, I will be there for teaching you or for clarifying doubts, okay, in terms of settings and softwares and stuff like that. And of course, if you want to apply, you want to promote your stuff, uh, your own stream, just let me know. We can uh, keep in touch and we can actually work together, create a new channel or something good because I'm actually really interested in, in making another group uh, channel we used to have uh, the, the retro gaming rangers one but obviously we had a little bit of some some problems uh, within the group and which actually normally happens in these group channels uh, i've seen a lot of cases on live stream but we can actually try something new with new people if if uh, necessary so let me know 
if you have the, the willingness, the capabilities, the technical uh, support, and all the good stuff. So let me know questions, suggestions. I if you want to apply, if you want to participate, let me know. Actually, all uh, everyone has the same chance. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you later.